Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. I'm going off thing here. I just have to show you this. Today I have been to the Revolutionary War reenactments. I think this has been great fun. Um, I'm kind of doing this in reverse. I'm ending with the beginning, but I'm going to put this at the beginning of my video. But uh, my grandson and my husband and my mother-in-law, we came out here for my grandson's birthday. A lot of fun here in Colorado. Yeah, my birthday. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So, I just have to show it to you. I know it's off our decorating, but I want you to see what it's like. My phone was turned the wrong direction. Okay, well, it's... Might as well take some nice I'm gonna video of your whole outfit. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's go back so I have a better view. Are you really bored or are you just enjoying watching them play the music? It's his birthday and he just seems to be not enjoying this like I thought maybe he would. Him. That's why. How old are you, by the way? Ten today? Yep, today. Oh, so you're double digits. You're going to be double digits for the rest of your life. Yep, exactly. Yes. Until you hit 100, then you can be three. Yeah, you're triple digit. Uh, I only live to, you can only live to 105. You can live longer than that. You can live to 120. I doubt it. <laughs> Let's take a picture of the whole thing all the way around in here. Oh, that'll be nice. I wish I could eat it. I have a gluten issue. Yeah, I understand that. I want. Where did they get? I have some jumbles. Because I have gluten free stuff, so. Oh, you do? I do, because I'm gluten free also. I have to be. What happens to you? I have horrible heartburn. I get chronic vertigo. Oh, Are you going to post that on YouTube? It, no. Your YouTube channel? Nah, this is just for my own care. I might decide to put it on YouTube, but I don't think so. I think I'll get hit stuck. I know you're waiting for your um, father, but do you know what they're doing in here? Father? Grandfather. Your grandfather, okay. Ah, uh, this one's stuck. Oh, no. Do you know what we're making in here? Papa, yep. Do you know what the difference from? between a musket and a rifle is? Show me how to do it. Where do we go in there? Well, that's a good guess, but clo not quite. So, okay, so you're interested in the military stuff, right? Okay, I'm going to give you some military information. Do you? Um, and we're going to do a battle here at 11:30. Okay, good. Let's hope George Washington has a very good act. Yeah, good act. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to see George Washington in our battle today. He's the, but so don't you put a hole in that. So here's the musket and the rifle. You ready? So a musket, if you look down the barrel of a musket, it's smooth in there. And, and you'll see in the military station or over at the Long Hunters, because I think at Long Hunters are actually making musket balls. But a musket ball would you come out. You also have to do this too. Yeah, you have to load it and prime it and stuff. But a musket, the thing about a musket is it's not very accurate. A rifle was. And the rifle, it has inside the barrel, it has a spiral shape. And that spiral shape, when it shoots the projectile out, it means that it goes further and it goes straighter. Okay? Much more straight. Much more straight. But so, so when you see um, colonial warfare going on, you'll see lines of men all yeah. firing muskets, right? Yeah, I know how that works. That's yeah. supposed to be called a battle it is one of the battle positions, you're right. But the reason why they had such big lines of people, because the guns weren't very accurate, the idea was let's just put a lot of musket balls in there. Yeah. They weren't very dead. accurate. They're dead. Well, you know what? They not Most very, of the time. You know what? Actually, a lot of times people were pretty poor shots. Because the musket ball, the other thing is, is that it would start dropping. So, I think so I got people some, wasn't hit as often as yeah. we might have thought. I think I got some other people I need to get set up. Hey, guys. Who you are? There, one in the green there also. Papa. Fantastic. Good deal. buddy. Come on. Good deal. We should be fighting against the king. He's the one that taxes the shit. If you put any tax on Parliament, I think we wouldn't be in this trouble at all. Exactly. Yet they disregard our assembly here in New Jersey. We've had it for what, 50 years? 
Just, just want to see a freedom of the Americas. For you don't go and kill for money, do you? <laughs> we here in New Jersey don't, though I will say there may be some, yes. <laughs> that would be the mercenaries. <laughs> I'm not a mercenary. They actually are like here. The majority of them, though, the British are hiring them. We're not hiring no troops. <laughs> Okay, the militia. Scout out for you lads, don't keep company with, don't be with bad company. You're not supposed to be hanging around with those British troops. <laughs> but uh, you shouldn't have, you wouldn't have been saying that in, you would not have really been saying that though in, then? <laughs> you don't know that for sure. <laughs> what are we playing over here? Hello. Hello. It looks like a form of checkers. Yep, that's draught. This is nine minutes more, and right now we are playing knuckle balls. They look a little bit like popcorn. <laughs> Hurt the ears. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a video. Wow! <laughs> I don't think I jumped though. Not really. I think I held it pretty good. But <laughs> whoo! I felt the blast of that though. I did too. Man, that was amazing. <laughs> whoo! I didn't expect to feel it that much. <laughs> A well-trained crew could fire that gun every 15 seconds, sending a ball downfield. Now, if that ball came bouncing at you across the field, would you step your foot out to stop it? Uh, no. Probably not, because you and your foot no longer have a personal relationship. <laughs> now, what I was doing at the back of the gun is vent stopping, where I put my thumb over the back of the hole. When they stick their sponges into the front of the guns and ram it back, it has moisture on the gun. One of them is the wet sponge. Hold up the wet sponge. <laughs> and the other one's the dry sponge. So when I bent and stopped the back of the gun, and they put that into the gun and turn it and pull it out, did anyone hear it hear it kind of thump? So that means all the oxygen is pulled from the gun. Which means there's nothing burning that's inside the gun. Now he also did a, use the worm. Can you hold up the worm? To pull any material, burning material, from the gun. What we loaded inside is actually a three, pound, three ounce charge of black powder. Now it's loaded in aluminum foil. They would have loaded it into cotton bags or linen bags that would have been placed in the gun. So obviously we want to pull that material out before we stick another round in because we don't want it to go off prior to us wanting the gun to go off. I like my fingers. Anyone like their fingers? <laughs> yeah. So like I said, a full battery 
uh, with full battery, I could have each gun fire by itself. I could have the whole battery fire up by all four guns or any combination, depending on what the need was at the time and, and how we needed to uh, address the enemy positions. Are there any, any questions about artillery or cannon? Jeez. What was the inch again on the... That is a three inch cannon. Three inch, okay. Now that gun is about 600 pounds. Uh, we are artillery afoot. Anyone feeling strong today? <laughs> They pull that gun about 26 miles and then let me know how strong you feel. <laughs> I don't think I can move that two so foot. Because we're artillery and foot, <laughs> we have to tote that gun by hand Jeez. everywhere it goes. So I have about 75 men in my battery that would drag that gun everywhere we go. Now what you continentals call roads are a little more than trails. So any more than a 600 pound gun is it's quite difficult to pull along trails. And we can go up in the mountains and you guys can pull that along and let me know how it works. <laughs> And with people cutting down trees in front of you. So we spent a lot of time cutting down trees. Yes. About 400 yards, it'll fire a ball through the air, and then it'll bounce another six, another, um, it'll bounce at probably about six or seven hundred yards. And if the ball hits, if the ball was to hit you at about 300 yards, it would go through you and the person behind you and that person and then probably the person behind them. It would just take out that entire line. But then it would just, they would keep marching forward and move closer together as people disappeared from the line. <laughs> Most of the people you would have known them, they would have come from your town and your community. Boy, did I feel that way. <laughs> I'm going to talk really loud. Okay. So, try. Hey. Fire speed commissions General Lee right there on the spot. He rides up ahead of his wing and his men. And he rallies the troops. This action has enough of a delay. That's enough of a delay that the main colonial army can come up and keep the British at bay. This is significant since in American history. One is that this is the first time that General Washington was in this action right in front of his men, rallying the troops. They're not as loud as I thought they would be. No. I don't know if the bullet makes a difference. Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Let's 
They were so gentlemanly about their war. Another <laughs> Oh, that's Horses running in the background. How amazing! Huzzah! <laughs> we won that battle. Yeah. Huzzah! Huzzah! I'll, I'll finally get involved. <laughs> I'm a Rennie. You would think I'd have that down. <laughs> Now they're all respawning back to life. You got to help do that. You know, I think the uh, commander will have, uh, have something for you in a bit when he returns from his discussions with the uh, us? observers. What do you mean, us? Well, you helped out, so Good you're going to. Good job, gentlemen. Which means we're going to. He's got your phone line. He's going to compensate. Oh, good. Oh, my God. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> what services? Oh, I don't want to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'll never tell. Compliment. 
Well, well, thank you, lads, for assisting us today. You know, it's always much easier to have some more men take the gun than, uh, than me. Uh, I'm the officer. So move the gun. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, lad. Thank you, lad. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Too. Enjoy. Take care again. Thank you, Sergeant. Come shake his hand uh, again. You now Why? Why do I do that? Because I want uh, you to. Because she wants to. You obey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sergeant, you can go to lunch. Uh, do take my. Yes, take that plate. To... It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Carving. I am trying to curve the side. To what to the side? The side. Oh. Thank you. Nice. I want to make sure. You want to put a hole in it? Do it great, Judge. Ready for the hole through it? I'm trying to cut the side like this so it has did. no clump. Try to put the sides on it so there's no wet. No, like I don't want this to be on. You want it to be soft edge. Mm. You want to take off the rough edge. Go yeah. oh, hey, he's going to help you do that. He's going to show you how to make it so it's smooth. Careful. Take it and just start. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Is that your candle holder? Yeah, that's yours, Adam. My grandson is building. We just got through cutting the log with a two-handed cutter. And now he's trying to build. And they're going to give us a part so we can build another hole in it. See if we can make it look really cool. Oh, you're editing. Well, I'm only pausing so we have no reason for it to be. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this part. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to move over here. Let's hope this works. Really want to build oh, you know what? I didn't think I was recording when we were doing it before. I can't see it well enough to know. I think I messed up on not seeing you carve it out. Yeah, I think I had it wrong. Oh, that's a real bummer because I had it wrong. I wasn't recording you doing that. This whole time I was holding it, wasn't recording you. Okay, want to bring that over? Might just nope. fit. Bobby want to scar. Yeah, it might, might be wanna, easier if we carve yep, that we piece carve now. That down on the shading bed. I don't know how. Oh, yes, you do. Jared's trying to call us. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm recording. Huh. I'm supposed to go do something project. this afternoon, but I have way too much fun doing this. <laughs> There's such a big project. No, I'm recording. Well, I'm trying to film him. Okay. He's out. Up. Now you gotta keep, you're gonna have to shave more than that, honey. Nope, nope, put it in the cream. You put it in the. I need to cut the corner. Well, I know, but you still have to hold that. Push with your feet. Push hard with your feet. There you go. You gotta get the end more than up here. Instead of here so much, you gotta get down this part here. 
No, pounding won't do it. You have to keep scraping. You have to get rid of the corners. I know, but pounding doesn't do it. It's still scraping. It, this doesn't work. This is not... Pressing apples. Alright, class kids, let's walk over here. Yes, if you get in the line, you can try. Look at all that apple down there. Oh, this is the best tasting. What apples are you using? Just a mixture? or? Yes, we're using all different kinds. It is amazing tasting. I would agree. <laughs> Did you um, Papa's and Teresa? You gonna let this? You gonna let him dip his can of corn? No, we'll let him get away with that. You gonna let this fourteen-year-old sit here while you dip his can of corn? Fourteen-year-old? Dad, your stones rolling around in there. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, you gotta do more, babe. You're not, you're not doing as much work as you think you are. Hey, I got, I got an Eden. You did. <laughs> you gotta pull and push at this. You need to push. You need to pull. Good day. Good day. That is a hot fire. What's the temperature of that fire? Well, probably down at the very bottom where it's hottest, it's probably upwards of 3,000. Ooh, degrees. that's hot. <laughs> we can we can burn up the iron in that fire. Wow. Do you know when I'm going? Hey, guess what? This was a ball. Oh, we made homemade candles. Look at this here. We dipped them. I see it got broken. I told you to hold it straight. Oh, well. <laughs> and we had to actually cut our wood and dip our candles. I didn't get any footage of us making this because I was doing it. But um, you're going to see us doing some of this other things. We had a great time. I just want to say thank you for joining me on this little outing that we've had today. It was so much fun. So I'm going to say, even though it was a departure from decorating, I hope you all have, go out and enjoy some of your fall activities like I have here. And like I said, it's a reenactment of the Revolutionary War. It was amazing. Look, and, look. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to have the, the, the guys come behind us here. Maybe we can kind of make it so you can see it a little bit. These guys are playing their music. They're gonna come up behind me here shortly. I think it is like so cool. We've had the best, best, You should have seen my time. candle. You should have yeah, seen my candle. It was cool. Can you edit my candle so. in? <laughs> it was cool. Okay, we're taping, stop. So, anyway, I just wanna say. You're still in there. I am. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> Remember, it's still about my decorating, but happy decorating. Y'all take care and God bless.